Hello everyone, today I'm going to give some little review for the upcoming messenger that is as known as Windows Live Messenger 2011. So let's start with the installer. This installer is just about 1.1 MB which is can download it from the Microsoft website. So let's check the installer and see what is it. And MSN is also known as the Windows Live Essential from part of the Microsoft. So let's see the installer. Well, as I know, the installer is just pain in the ass because it is required internet connection to download. Yeah, so let's wait for the installer to start up. It may take some time for the crap to be loaded. Okay, here it comes. Well, it seems that the installer is called Windows Live Essential Beta. So let's check what crap is included. Well, it seems that Mail Writer, Family Safety, blah 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 is included, but still, the point is. Messenger. So usually I just untick all and just install the messenger, which you can see is already installed. So let's check out the messenger. So I'm gonna exit this. So let's check out the new messenger. Here it is. This is the new messenger. It's called as two zero eleven. I show the uh, about for this. The currently beta using is beta build fifteen point four, which is version two zero eleven, should be released on next year. So let's check out the features that come with this Ocean of Messenger. Firstly, the things that I quite surprised is that you can actually access your Facebook uh, status and you see all your friends uh, just beside your messenger without even going to your facebook.com using your browser which is quite troublesome. It's the same thing is on the MSN, MSN itself. So let's see the feature. Firstly, you can actually link more than Facebook on there by clicking the add button, connect more services. Actually, you can add more services such as YouTube, Blogger, MySpace, WordPress, or even other uh, social website you like. So as you can see, my Facebook and WordPress are already associated with my MSN. So let's check out. Here's the social tab and here's the MSN tab which you can see the latest news or entertainment news from the MSN website. You can see the news. By clicking the news you can actually they will direct to the browser to show the news. So let's back to the social. Okay, you can see the latest social status by your friends and even the videos, but you clicking the video is can directly play from here is which is very good it's a very good feature and about the photos for example this photo I can actually click it and the uh, dedicated album will be loaded and this actually utilize your graphic cards as well so I can see this is a example photo so of my friend so I can actually scroll it easily yeah scroll easily to see the photos like in the album and even that you can add comments in the photo itself by just touching the comment button and you can add a comment easily so this is a very good feature without even go to your facebook.com so you can check out the people tag even you can see the people that tag, it, tag in here is a very cool feature as you can see so I am kinda like this feature so next thing is uh, video, facebook video to watching a to watch a Facebook video, you can you are actually needed to go to the actual Facebook website. So this may be a disadvantage, or hope maybe they will improve in the future. Next thing is kinda the same thing. So you can directly comment anything on other status easily, and actually the other people private messengers or PM are uh, show on updates. So you can see the highlights the reason or about yourself so what you did what you share you can know it and your f all the photos that people share and uh, more including their status their video and such so let's get back to the messenger itself let's check out the chat box what I really think like about this is the animation which is really nice so I can even now the tabbing is working of course it's much easier and much uh, need to load without patching your MSN. So let's check out the features which 
including some voice clip as the old messenger activities with this uh, old activities can invites and nothing special while sharing photo is like a breeze so let's check it out sharing photo just dragging in and the photo will be like this not good not bad right so let's try to type a message to my friend a usual messenger's message which is works very well ah it's a bug i can't okay next is i'm gonna show you the, the new feature including a batching yeah a batch this is a uh, something new feature can a batch beside your name can show any feature thing you're using just like this beta as you can see my friend there's a b beside it means that he using beta it's a batch i believe more batch will be released uh, later on the next thing is names this is a pain in the ass feature that you can't actually change your name directly from the messenger this is a very bad thing so you have actually need to go to the tools and options the name click edit name and actually need to edit on your profile itself this is a uh, disadvantage of the new messenger which i don't really like it okay nextly is the feature are almost the same as the old messenger except you can actually assign a custom sound alert on each contact for example if i assign this my contact with a uh, choose sound i can actually change the contact sound to the custom one so when the alerts come in i know it's which friend or which contact are uh, messaging me okay nextly is uh, by clicking this little button right here you can actually go back to the old style of messenger which is look more small and your favorites are came in and the groups are still here with the addition of facebook group this actually is a useless feature but it shows all your facebook contacts without even contacting them yeah you can't see them online facebook by chatting through facebook no it's just like a contact list that actually double click it they send you a messaging box to message that will message them this is quite useless as well so next thing is your contact list is as usual as the old one okay and there's nothing much special about this messenger except the addition of the facebook and of course the social websites which are look really nice the next thing is you can actually share your status in here by typing like i'm using new messenger and click on share your status will actually are published through your facebook as well and the chat thing is just normal oh no oh let's check out the team the team actually is almost same as the old one nothing special of course and webcam and sound and chatting works as usual and that's all for my little review for the messenger beta version 2011 i'm expecting more features coming for the local or no the final version of 2011 i hope is much better and more feature than this so this is a little feature little little review from me and thanks for watching